One Friday morning, here's the news burst. 54 degrees, your wake-up temp in Waukesha this morning. Milwaukee is at 60 degrees right now. That's the Storm Team forecast from Scott Steele. Scotty's got sunny and seasonal with a high today near 77 degrees. Perhaps things are settling down a little bit out there in the city of Milwaukee. That's two nights in a row now that Milwaukee police have gone without reporting any shootings. Now, unfortunately, that is newsworthy as the city has seen more than 50 people shot since the beginning of this month. Health officials have not pinpointed a source of Legionnaire's disease outbreak in Milwaukee. More than 50 cases now reported this summer, and one man may have just died from the disease. They think it could be tied to cooling towers on the tops of buildings, but again, officials do not have a confirmed direct source. Well, this guy was absolutely hammered. You know, we continue to talk about uh, our drinking and driving problem here in southeast Wisconsin. We often focus on making that first-time offense a crime. But here's the real problem. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't do that with the first offense. What I am saying is the problem is this guy. He had to be boxed in by sheriff's deputies in the zoo interchange. He was so drunk while driving. He blew a .25 and they found an open bottle of vodka in his car. He has been charged now with his fourth OWI. That guy's the problem. Uh, they're going to build a new roller coaster at Six Flags Great America. This one's going to be one of those old tiny wooden coasters. It's going to be as high as 165 feet, said to open next summer. Lots to do this weekend. Mexican Fiesta opens on the Summerfest grounds up in Port Washington. They have the Maritime Heritage Festival. Packers preseason tonight. It's a Milwaukee ticket holders game. So if you are heading up, leave yesterday. Uh, construction issues and new security procedures at the gates will definitely make things slower than usual. Ryan Braun is sorry again, this time admitting to using banned substances in written statements and an apology to the fans. It's being received with some mixed reactions. Some fans saying, okay, let's move on. He made a mistake. Other fans saying, that really sound like he's sorry. Just sorry he got caught. Brewers are in Cincinnati this weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. Go Pack.